TJ, are, are you guys as a unit approaching this offseason with maybe a little bit of a chip on your shoulder after you know the, the sacks you guys gave up last year? Um, chip on our shoulder. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. We definitely have been working to uh, get better. <clears throat> Um, we looked over our mistakes and the things we did last year, and we've been working twice a week, sometimes three three times a week, to improve on those things that we did differently um, or wrong last year. So those same mistakes won't happen again. How much of a difference will it make just to, I mean, hopefully have the same five guys, you know, all year as opposed to I mean, moving around like you did last year? Um, it's, it's gonna make a big difference, you know, because it's about four of us: me, Artie, Matt, and Biz. You know, we played in the games, so we know what to expect. We know what's going to be like out there. And like I said, we've been working together now to just tighten up what we've already been doing. So. When you look back and reflect, what went wrong and why did it go wrong last season? Well, um, well for me personally, I'm, I'm not going to speak for anybody else, but for me personally, um, that was that was my first time you know, playing offensive line. So um, a lot of stuff was new to me. I was learning a lot of things on the fly. Um, from week to week, trying to just I remember what I did last week. I remember what Coach told me, and try to, you know, build on it every week and do the best that I can. And um, it uh, it kind of just that those things won't happen again this year. I improved over the spring. Um, we as a unit improved over the spring, but me personally, I improved over the spring, and I took it upon myself to make sure those things won't happen again this year. Do you think Dorian is ready for? Big jump after playing as a freshman and now having a whole off season to sort of get in rhythm and everything. I, I believe so. I believe so. Dorian's gotten better over the spring. Um, he's, he's understanding the offense more. He's learning. Um, he's playing a lot faster. He's he's having more confidence. At the end of the day, I think that's what it boils down to is uh, having confidence in yourself, and he's uh, he's showing that. And he's developed that. Where are you at in your development? You're, do you still consider yourself new to the offensive line position? Absolutely or not. Absolutely. I've, I've sat with my coaches and talked to him, and uh, like I said, this spring and this summer, I took it upon myself to get better, to be better. So, you know, whatever people seen on film last year, I'm telling you, it's not going to be the same. You talk about how you've grown since you've been here. You not only switch positions, you switch sides of the ball. Kind of talk about your development over the years. What do you mean from switching positions? Yeah, from when you came <laughs> in as a freshman and now how much you've developed. I have a different mindset um, of how to play this game now that I did when I was on defense. Um, I, when I was playing defense, I, I thought I was a lot better um, than, I, than I really was. And, you know, when it, when, I, when it came time for me to switch, you know, I realized where I was as a football player, not a defense player, offense player, where I was as a football player and what I needed to do to give myself a chance, you know, to, you know, succeed here at Pitt or, you know, hopefully on the next level. So. That's why I switched over. Was there before. an experience that made you realize that while you were switching over positions, or was it more sort of a gradual thing? Um, an experience when when my, my job was taken from me uh, last year, halfway through the season, and I wasn't you know really seeing the field that much when I was playing defense, and I was like, you know, I have to do something because I'm I'm not I'm just not having the success on defense as I thought I did. So changing quarterbacks, how does that change things for your unit? Um, I don't. I don't think it's gonna change anything for our unit because the job description is still the same. You know, keep him up, let him do what he does, and and uh, and block. So, Biz mentioned you guys have been kind of running the steps at Heinz and doing some workouts there. What have, what have you guys been doing, and how has that been helpful? Um, that that's been helpful because we're we're in the stadium. It's just us in there. You know, it, it's a grind that nobody's gonna see. You know, nobody. The fans don't see that. You know, some of the coaches. Don't even see that. It's, it's just us, the players, the guys who are going to be on the field. So um, it just gives us the opportunity to, to come together and really push each other and help each other, you know, get the workout done and get better. Because at the end of the day, it's just going to be us out there on the field. It's just offensive linemen doing it. Coach Uber. Oh, uh, no. It's all going down there. Uh, the whole team. whole team down there and those uh, strength staff. How do you approach the uh, possibility last year here, NFL, the possi realistic possibility? How do you keep that all in perspective? Um, I really I take it day by day, man. I, you know, I haven't, we haven't played the first game of the season yet. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's in my mind. I think about it. I mean, who doesn't? But I, I'm still here at Pitt, and I really want to, you know, finish out this, this season strong with the guys who I'm working with right now. So.